Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for the Color Rush Studio design team. And I'm using the prettiest kit called Darling Sparkle and Shine. It is the January 2024 kit. And this is my third layout I'm gonna be creating with this kit. And I am going to use our sketch. Um, the sketch is, it's cute, it goes right here. I just printed it on, you know, full letter size. So I have a block here, you know, pattern paper or a cardstock there. I've got a couple banner things, block here. So it's kind of like a reverse L-shaped design. Love the bits here. And we have title here, little bit here. So we've got like an L-shaped design, a reverse L. It doesn't matter on that one. But then we have almost a visual triangle with our supplies. Interesting. So let's take a look. Oh, and I'm gonna use this photo here. This is the latest design team notification. Um, I don't know, this is our newest design team photo. And there's lots of fun scrappy friends on here and I was really excited. So let's see. Now for scraps, this is already a scrap and so is this. So that makes that interesting when, you know, you don't have to cut into something new. This one's also a scrap, it's just a large scrap which that brings in some of the blue. Both of these are interesting. I could do, I know they're kind of the same scale. I don't know how I feel about them both being, you know, so close to the same scale. Let's see what else we have. So we, these are two great choices because we have to do our L, right? But I also want to take a look. Ooh, all right, that's the same. So I'm gonna put that to the side for now. Gorgeous yellow piece here. Ooh. I love that pink. Interessante. Oh, I really love that pink. I love this pink. Look at it with the yellow. Little busy, but I love it. Now, this is a slightly calmer piece. I've already used this piece because it really lets things pop off of it, but that may be my background. We did get two of those. This is gorgeous. I've used this and I did fussy cut a bunch of this. And then we have this one with great cut aparts. All right. I already know that's gonna work for this. Now let me look at my scraparoos. Now this photo has some pretty bold color on it. So let's get a nice pop of the yellow. So let me see, it goes like this. It goes like this. So I'm gonna put that up right there for me. So this would go kind of down here. Then I need something going this way. And I am, I'm totally vibing on these little buggies. Part of the reason why is, I'm, guys, I just love this kind of stuff. Let me get my ruler that I've been known to enjoy um, using. I like to use it as a, uh, oh, let me move it around, as a trimmer. Because what I end up getting is some really nice looking, um, torn bits you know it's like it's like controlled uh it's kind of like controlled chaos quite frankly all right and i want it big enough that i can go top and bottom and even mat this a little bit more if i choose so let me do i'm just lining it up on my mat a little bit i could always you know just trim it on my trimmer which would probably be quicker but sometimes you like what you like you know you got to do what you got to do all right, so I have this, right? And I have this, I have to trim off my branding strip. Oh, I like that, okay. I have to trim off my branding strip. I also want to, this side's already been uh, trimmed with my ruler in that same kind of method. So let's just go ahead and do that. And it'll probably have to be a little more painstaking because I'm doing it closer to the edge. It's all good, it's all good. I just get in these phases that I wanna do things like this. Okay, so we have this, we've got our buggy bits. I have to cut that off. We've got our photo. Look at how cute this layout is already, my friends. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, and right here we have to do our title. Ooh. So let me line this up like this and I can use my board again and go boop. All right, so that had to be a little bit smaller. This goes all the way to the end and my title goes right here. Now I went ahead and popped these two pieces down. And I really want to get a little bit of this blue in as well. So I'm going to mat my photo on this, I think. 
I think I think. And then, I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to have the distressing on all of those parts, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put it a little bit more in the middle and I'll cut that out. Now let's see what to use. We've got gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And guys, I went ahead and fussy cut out all kinds of treasures. We've got our alpha. Ooh, and we've got some pretty, pretty trim. <gasps> I bet I could make this so pop. Ooh. Now, do I want to use this plaid, which I love? <laughs> I just get so excited. Like, which, which thing to use? I think I'm going to use this plaid because I love that pop of pink. I think it's so fun. So I'm going to have it run here and here. Um, and then we can get a nice little tie on it. So I can just, you know, tape it down on the back side. I think that would be fun. And maybe have it tie right above the photo. Something like that would be cute. I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's going to be cute. It's going to all work out. Okay, we have that. Definitely want to get a doily brought in. And then I've got lots of little bits and pieces. So that would be really good for those... Um, Ooh, maybe I should do CRDT right here because it's a smaller title that would be fitting right here. Okay, I'm totally jumping ahead of myself. But you see how the title's right here? Ooh, and I need a couple pieces for up there. All right, I want to get these pieces down. I want to map my photo, and we're going to see what we have. Oh, and I'll pop my photo up on a little bit of foam. Right, so I have the base, right? If we look at our sketch... Got a little gloom here today. If we look at the sketch, we have this L-shaped and I have to come up with something here. So that's what I have here. The cutest little gingham, people. The cutest little gingham. So cute. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I need two things here. I have CRS for Color Rush Studio DT right here. So I've got my title. Let me shimmy that out just a little bit. Like my title. Oh, my C needs to stand up just a little bit straighter. Let's not be lazy. And then, guys, this is just going to be, who knows? I could put tags. That's always doable. Oh, guys, I forgot. I was going to put a doily so I can go ahead and tuck that right in. There's another, oh, it's right there. I was going to say there's another doily hiding out somewhere. Hiding out. So let's just tuck that in, which brings a little bit of light. I'm tucked away in this corner. Um, what else? All right, let me put my ribbons and frazzles in teens to the side. Bucket checklist, that's kind of a cute thing for the DT. <gasps> Bucket list. I'm thinking about tucking this in and putting that on top for the bucket list. That would be incredibly cute. Okay, we're doing that. Maybe some of the pink. Let me see if I can use these bright pink bits on this one. I used all the gold on another one, and I really like the idea of bringing in the pink. What else? Ooh, like that little mothy bit. Um, November. So I think, do I have a January? That would be cute. If I can pop that up. I know I do. I just got to find it. Don't forget. Remember. Bloom and grow, that would be really good because we're all doing the learning and the fun. Oh, cute little florals, I'll bring them in. And I have all of these florals already cut that I will definitely shimmy into this party. Today, my heart, let's see. Kind people are my kind of people. I'll have that handy dandy. That might be cute. Where is my January word? It's in here. I just have to find it. All right, I'm going to keep faffing about. I'm going to play with this a little bit. I'm going to tuck this under and put my title right up on top. And I'll meet you right back here. It's going to be right, fun. y'all. I have stuck all of those little pieces down. And I'm like, okay, that is fun. I've got sparkle. This piece here is just cut in half from this piece here because why waste the like sparkly bits? I thought that was such a fun part of the kit. Okay, now I went through those things. I've got some nice trim frazzles and ribbons going on. I like when it's just a little bit distressed. So let me distress my edges a tiny bit. There we go. Makes it just a little bit more fun. Now I've got these gorgeous pearly bits, but I think I want to add in some of these florals that I previously fussy cut. So I'm going to add some in. 
I'm going to get some, um, like I have little bits. I'm going to put pearls in the centers of the florals and I'll come back and show you my finished layout. All right, my friends, I had so much fun putting the sweet little pearls on this layout. Super fun, super happy. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light on this. It is a snowstorm outside, so I am glad I even have internet right now. So I am loving it. Love the sparkle, love the pearly bits, all those kind of things. Guys, I'm gonna have links down below where you guys can get your hands on these kits as well as the Facebook group. So you can come hang out with us, show us what you're doing with these projects, products, not projects, with these products. And yeah, just come hang out, show us what you're doing. So I'm going to see you guys ever so soon with another video and still shots to follow. Bye for now, my friends.